Hi, welcome to Artfully Soul, where we have crows. My name is Angela, and I love to take old things and make them new. Today, boy, those crows are really going at it. Today, we're switching it up a bit, doing things outside. A few days ago, I had a former student of mine drop by with some fun pants that she and her mom had found at a thrift store. Here's what the note said. Miss Rolchen, we found these pants and thought of you. We thought you could use them for one of your projects. I used to be a music teacher. And one of the things I love to do as a music teacher was to dress up funky so my students know how much I love funky clothes. They're really quite large. There's also a hole in the bottom and they're reversible. And I just love the inside of these. I took a little survey on my Instagram and a lot of you said that I should just try to make them into pants that would fit me. I think because there's so much fabric, what I'd like to do is try to make them into bibs. I hope to get this done. You know me, I always say I'm gonna get it done in a day. Cause I've got high hopes, I've got high hopes. As you can tell, it's a different day. Let's take a look at these pants. Like I said earlier, I really like the inside better than the outside, but I do like these pockets. I have to fix that hole that's in here. Brainstorming is my favorite part, trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this happen. So here's a few ideas that I came up with on Pinterest. Um, I really like the different looks of these, but I think I'm gonna try to make it look like this. Cause I really like that style, I like the way the top is, and I also think it will probably be easiest to make. I'm also going to use an existing pair of bibs that I have. These bibs are really basic. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the legs this length, I might play around with the length, or I might even add a little cuff, or, <gasps> Ooh, if I if I did a cuff, the inside fabric would show. So I think I'm gonna do that. And I think I'm just gonna get started and see what happens. The first thing that I need to do though is I need to sew up that hole in the back side because I definitely don't want a hole there. I could do a patch. I might even add some stabilizer to keep it from ripping more. But then I have to really commit to what side I want on the outside. So I'm gonna hold this up and take a look. I really do like this red fabric, but it's pretty loud. I think showing it as a cuff from the outside would be really cute. So I think I am going to stick with this other side as the outside. So instead of this side, I'm gonna use this side as the outside, kind of like they're designed. I know I was just clowning around, but when I pulled those pants up really high, I kind of liked the look of that bagginess in the waist. I'm just gonna play around and see what happens. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that hole. I am also going to add a little bit of stabilizer to make sure that it doesn't rip farther. like this video, would you give it a thumbs up? Thanks. Yay, that was easy. The hole fixed up just fine. So now that the first step is done, I need to plan out how I'm going to transform these into those bibs. Hmm. This might take some thought. No! Not the weed eater!
this might be a good time to turn off the camera and do some thinking. Okay, after some thinking and measuring, and now that the weed eater is quiet, since I really want to make the bibs look like this, you notice that the crotch is pretty low, and I really like these pockets. I think my plan is, is to cut off the waistband, see how much fabric I have to work with, and then use the bottom to make the top. Oh God. Those chipmunks. I think that I'm gonna start by cutting off this waistband. That edge is going to end up being the top of the bib. If you look at these bibs, where the pocket is, I'm gonna try to make this the pocket bottom of my bib. Is it the chippies? So I'm gonna start by just cutting, which is always the scariest part. I think that the best way for me to figure out if I can afford to take that panel that's in the crotch of the pants out, I'm gonna baste along the seam and then try it on and see how it fits. The nice thing about a basting stitch is that it's loose enough that it's easy to take out if I do decide that I don't like it. It's hard for you to see but trust me this is gonna work they were really baggy anyway so now I can use that center section as the bibs part of my pants I'm so excited Woo! Grandma was right. The hurrier I go, the behinder I get. Why don't I listen to you, Grandma? In my haste of trying to rip out those basting stitches, I was using the seam ripper and it's dull. So I switched to scissors, which just felt like me, not fast enough. So then I started ripping the stitches, just, you know, grabbing it and ripping it. And you know, this is fragile fabric. It's not like denim jeans and I shouldn't have done that because now I ripped a little hole in there. <sighs> anyway, what I'm going to do to speed up the process is I love to use the serger. It's a Singer. It's a Singer Pro finish. I have a, an affiliate link down below if you're interested in seeing what I use. Highly recommend. It's a basic machine. You don't have to use a serger. I just prefer it. And the reason I am sewing these um, cut edges is because this fabric is, it's easily ripped. So um, I'm gonna use that. And the nice thing too about that is I can cut as I go. So just to show you up close what I'm talking about with these pants, here's the side seam. On the inside, is an extra panel of fabric. Do you see that? And that's what I had sewn together inside to see if I could do without it. And I can, so I'm gonna cut it as I sew on my serger and also keep those ends from fraying.
decided that I was going to cut these out first because I was breaking thread on my serger. But I'm realizing that as I'm cutting these apart, if I don't mark the fronts and the backs, I'm going to get confused. I'm already confused. I don't need to add more crazy. So I'm going to mark the top, the front, the back, and the side pieces so that I don't mess up more. The good news is that I think the serging will take care of those little holes that I made when I was ripping out the stitches. The other thing that I am going to do is I'm going to open up the hem on the bottom of the pants. That's what kind of got my serger jammed up. So I'm going to open that up or maybe just cut it and resurge it. That's I think what I'm going to do. And then I also have to be careful because the pocket is coming away from the seam once I cut it. So I'm going to have to re-sew the pocket. But that will hopefully all catch when I go through my serger. While we're stopped, I'll show you this crotch panel. So this was the inside crotch. I don't it sounds so weird to say that, but this is the inside. So I'm thinking this might be fun for, for the bib part. Like this? Or I have so many choices in fabric. I could use this side, I could use this side, and even this side is different. So many choices, I love it. Okay, I gotta figure it out. Pin it back together. Well, that went really quick and the seams seem very, the seams seem, the seams seem very secure. And I also went around the very top and the bottom. So the cuffs at the bottom, look at this. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. And the front pockets are securely sewn. Plus, we got rid of that baggy bottom. Why anybody would want a baggy bottom is beyond me. I'm back from lunch and I'm doing some figuring. Try it on the pants and they fit great. I like, oh, Estella's eating. Let me shut the door. <laughs> now she wants to come back in. Well, you're eating. You're making too much noise. In your spot. There you go. Anyway, I was saying. So this is the crotch panel that I took out. So what I'm hoping to do with this is to use this panel in a way that gives it some height and then put some of the pieces on either side as well. Hmm. I think I might pull off those other set of bibs and just see if I can use that to help me figure out the pattern for this front. My pictures and remember this pair of bibs well if you flip them around and look at the back I kind of like the way those come together and it's also a very simple shape 
So I think I'm going to try to do that on the front and the back. Okay guys, I pinned this front to these pants and I really, really like it. So this is just that crotch fabric. I made two pieces, one for the front, one for the back. <sighs> Sorry about the cam camera angle here, but what I'm trying to decide is where to put this because if I keep it down a little lower, I might be able to use this for the straps because I'm running out of fabric. I can also cut off the bottoms a little long, but I like the length. I'm not going to cut off the bottom. I'm going to make it work. It's coming together. I gave in. I'm going to try to see if I can use this waistband fabric. I don't know. It might be too much work, but I wanted to wrap this project up so I I'm just determined to get it finished today. Um, we'll see what happens. This is really taking a long time. I'm trying to assess just by looking at this. Is this really going to be worth it? Well, I've got a good start. Hi. No, Nora just got here. You can come in. Hi. Hi. I was just showing how my progress is, but I have to do something with this. I think what it is is I need to gather it a little bit in the front. And because this is weird. So it's yeah. not the right length, but I really like how it's turning out. Oh my gosh. Aren't they cute? Yes. And the other thing that I love is that I'll be able to turn these inside out and flip them up so that they look cuffy. So I'm close, but I'm going to have to do a second day. That's okay. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I think they're too big. it's evening I have to use artificial lighting which really bothers me but it means that I've switched to tea instead of coffee you want to come up here come on I do love the way these turned out overall they're a little different than I thought but that's what I love about doing upcycle projects you got to be willing to change your plan and that's what made this fun. It's kind of like a mystery, a puzzle, or a puzzle that I'm trying to figure out. One of the things that I did do different that I didn't shoot in the video was I added these side panels because I had to extend the bib part in the front. So I had some scrap linen fabric that I added to make sure that it covered me here. So that's the only additional fabric that I added. Everything else is original from the pants. And I was so happy that the work that I put in in taking the waistband apart was worth it because these straps worked great. Another fun thing that I did is I really liked the tag that was on the pants, the original tag. And so instead of 
sewing it back into the waistband, I thought it would look really fun to add to the front. I think it helps show that these are upcycled. Even though they're made by me, Angela, of Artfully Sew, I like to acknowledge that these came from somewhere. I think in the future I have to give myself more time. As you can tell from this video, it took me a number of days to do these. And I don't know why I get so stuck on wanting to do it in one day. You can't always rush the process. So in the future I plan on giving myself a little more grace and a little more time. I also wanted to say thank you to Lizzie and her mom for giving me these pants. It really turned into a fun project. You know me well. So what do you have sitting on your upcycling pile? Is it time to dig in? I hope this video inspires you to just keep sewing. Get in there, dig out those things, start getting out the seam ripper, start cutting. Be brave, my friend, be brave. So remember, you can artfully sew. See you next time. Bye. that this video inspired you to do a motorcycle. Snitches get stitches. You bitches. I feel like I can't ever say anything right. I'm starting all over again. <laughs>